the future of uh, our wealth, our economic growth in Europe to a very large extent will depend on the possibility we have to make use of new knowledge. So to create innovation, our future wealth, prosperity will largely depend on what higher education and research institutions can contribute to, uh, to creating new knowledge. Now in order to be able to do so, we have to make sure that other actors, other stakeholders like business and industry or public policy makers or students or public at large understand what higher education research institutions are doing. And that is making transparent what they are doing, showing uh, what the activities are that they are involved in as well as showing how good they are uh, at what they are doing. Can they be more transparent easily? They can become more transparent uh, by uh, engaging in the new transparency instruments that have been developed for the uh, European universities and uh, other institutions, uh, sponsored by the European Commission. And I uh, had the pleasure to be the, uh, the developer of these instruments. They are called UMAP and UMultiRank. And if University of Applied Science get involved uh, in using these, uh, these tools, they automatically will become more transparent. Well, uh, classifications basically are uh, only a few in the world. The, uh, the best known classification, I think, is the American classification called the Carnegie classification, which has been developed by the Carnegie Foundation in the United States already in the 1960s. In Europe, there is only one classification for higher education. This is called UMAP. And this only exists for a number of years now. Uh, rankings, there are more. There are many rankings uh, these days uh, around the world. The most, I guess, influential one still is the Shanghai ranking. Uh, designed um, about eight years ago by the Xiaotong University in Shanghai. Uh, then there is the Times Higher Education Supplement Ranking. Then there is the QS Ranking. These are all uh, league table rankings and there are many more in the world. Um, we think, the European Commission thinks, that those rankings are not very good that they don't give a good picture, uh, don't provide good information on what universities of applied science, for instance, are doing. And therefore, a new ranking tool has been developed, and this is U multi rank which is the European Union approach to ranking. Uh, various countries in Europe have, at the national level, already implemented UMAP, which is not the ranking tool, but the classification tool. And there have been about 90 uh, universities and University of Applied Institutions now that are using U multi rank all over Europe. And I think that will rapidly increase in the years to come, simply also because the European Commission will uh, push it enormously as, a, as an important new development in European higher education. So what would you say that is the ultimate goal for the UAS schools? I think the UAS uh, institutions, I think their ultimate goal, as you say, should be to show to, uh, to the outside world, as well as to their colleague institutions, what they are, what they are doing, why they are different from other uh, types of higher education institutions, and how good they are at what they are doing in terms of regional development, in terms of knowledge transfer, in terms of applied research, and certainly also in terms of teaching and learning. And it should be, I think, up to the University of Applied Science themselves to decide how they want to do that. And they can use these instruments that are now available and they can only profit by becoming more transparent, by showing to others how good they are because they are very, very important for innovation in Europe these days. Okay, so you expect the higher education in Europe to devolve and get the best in the world? No, I don't think the, uh, the, the best universities uh, in the world will automatically come from Europe. But you, the, the University of Applied Science, the, uh, the research institutions and the other in universities in Europe show a large diversity, a large variety in terms of missions and profiles. And I think the strength of Europe will be that we will be able to use that diversity of missions and profiles to create more innovation.